The armature is the central part of your power tool's motor. It consists of windings, the commutator, a cooling fan, and the drive shaft. It also includes the armature bearings and the motor gear. The armature, along with the field, create an electromagnetic field that causes the armature to spin. The carbon brushes transfer electricity to the armature through the commutator. Over time, the commutator will wear from this constant contact. If the tool is overloaded, the armature can overheat and the insulation around the windings will burn away, creating a short circuit. When this occurs, there will be excessive sparking from the motor brushes and smoke or a burning smell from the motor. Replacing the armature is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the rear cover from the housing. Now remove one half of the housing. There's a label between the two sides of the housing. I'll cut that label with a knife. And now I can separate the two halves. With the housing removed, now I can pull the complete motor and gearbox assembly away from the drill. I'll pull the armature away from the brushes. And as I remove the gear selector, I want to be careful that I don't lose the springs on the back side. Now I'll separate the armature and yoke away from the gearbox. And I'll separate the yoke from the armature. Now I can install the new armature. I'll install the yoke back onto the armature. You'll notice that one side of the yoke is notched and that should face out. I'll reconnect the motor to the gearbox. Now I can reinstall the motor and gearbox assembly. First, I'll replace the selector. You'll notice that the tab for the selector has a pin that extends back towards the armature. That pin should go inside of one of the springs. I'll remove this one of the springs from the selector. I'll place the spring over the pin, hook the spring back onto the selector, and compress it as I install it. You'll notice that there's a slot on one end of the yoke. That slot aligns with a tab that's milled in the bottom of the housing. I'll align the two, pull back the brushes in the brush holder, and slide the armature through the brush holder. Now I'll align each of the components and slide them back into the housing. Now I'll place the switch back into the housing. As I do, I'll make sure to align the direction selector with the forward reverse switch on the switch. I'll reinstall the heat sink. And make sure that all of the wires are tucked out of the way. Now I'll reinstall the housing. And secure it with the screws. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the rear cover. And that's all it takes to replace the armature in your cordless drill. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. 